Guys, I'm gonna do the best book tag ever created. That's right, I bring to you the Taylor Swift book tag. Let me get some of this straight. I'm not even a fan of Taylor Swift, but ever since this book tag came out, it just makes me so happy every time I see it in my subscription feed. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. I guess it's just the absurdity of how we could turn pretty much any subject in the whole entire universe and make a book tag out of it. But anyways, let's just get right on to this book tag. So the first song is We Are Never Getting Back Together and that's pretty self-explanatory, a book that you're never going to get back together with. This is kind of a weird answer, but definitely looking for Alaska because that book just broke me really hard. It's among my favorite books, but I'm never gonna reread it again because I don't want to relive the heartache. Red! Pick a book with a red cover on it. This one, yes. And have you ever noticed there's actually a rifle right in between? The next song is Best Day. Pick a book that makes you feel nostalgic. So I picked this book. It's The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. This book just makes me think back to my college days because this is the first book that they gave us in our little care package thing going into the program and yeah it just reminds me of college. Love story. Pick a book with forbidden love. I'm just gonna go to the story that the song love story refers to which is Romeo and Juliet. So the next song is I Knew You Were Trouble so pick a character that was bad but you can't help but love. All I can think of is Jamie Lannister because he is an awesome character with a really spectacular character arc. So the next song is Innocent. It's like a book that someone ruined the ending for. I'm not a huge stickler about endings and being spoiled by endings. I'm just gonna tweak this question and answer it in a different way. I'm gonna bring up Lost because I accidentally spoiled that to my roommate and I just never really forgave myself since. Yeah, I, I wake up with regret sometimes thinking of that memory. So the next one is Everything Has Changed and that one was the one about a character with a good character arc and I already used Jamie Lannister so I'm just gonna have to think of another one. I'm gonna pick Neville Longbottom. I felt like he grew a lot as a character during the entirety of the series. You Belong With Me. Pick a book that is being released sometime near the future that you really really want. Why did I think that I didn't have a new release that I really really wanted? The Winds of Winter. I need that book forever and always. Pick a couple that you really really like. All I could really think about was that really messed up storyline where Jacob fell in love with Bella's child. OTP. So the next song is Come Back Be Here and it's a book that you are most hesitant about lending to people. Probably absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian because I really love this book. It's one of my favorite books and I just feel like people wouldn't treat it well because it's paperback. I'm gonna do some of the bonus questions so if this is past three minutes then you can't punish me for that. There's no punishments for these things, but still. So the next song is Teardrops on My Guitar, and that's about the book that made you cry the most. And I'm going to have to pick The Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl. The last song is Shake It Off. So is there a book that you like so much that you would shake the haters off? And that would be The Fault in Our Stars. Since it's popularity, and with popularity comes the people who I roll and are like, oh, that is like overrated. I've come across so many of those people, especially people in writing communities. Shake those haters off, all right? I don't know what people's deals are. Team John Green till the end. So I don't know where all that energy came from, but glad I had it. I'm very tired today. <laughs> I think that it's just the power of T-Swift. That's it for this video, so I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Malcolm X reminds us that we're all really complex and hard and we can't really make a conclusion about any one person.